I haven't heard any of them actually say, let's go tell an adult this is in here. Yeah. Yeah. No. Making sure children are safe around guns is a growing concern across the country. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Rieger. And I'm Stacey Skryzak. Every week, children here in the U.S. are killed by accidental fire. And tonight, we ask you the question, what would your kids do if they came across a gun? And a question we answered for several local families in a controlled experiment. News Channel 20's Brendan Cullerton is here now with some shocking video. John Stacy, the Center for Disease Control, says 60 U.S. children die every year from accidental gunshots and 600 more are sent to the hospital. So we put local kids to the test in a room with a real but disarmed gun to see if they knew what to do. And parents weren't happy with the results. What? We brought in eight local kids and their parents to test their knowledge on gun safety. But only the parents knew what was up. We're doing this toy testing experiment. As we told the kids about the toy experiment, Springfield Police Officer Bob Davidsmeyer was showing the parents how he was altering his gun so it couldn't be fired. Then we planted it in the chair so we could start the real experiment. The kids started to play with the toys as parents watched on monitors. It might glad you just goes way through the roof when mm -hmm. I just know he's even near it. It didn't take long for one of them to grab the gun, wonder what it was, even point it at herself and put her finger on the trigger. Her mother could only watch. I was surprised how she like pointed it to herself and I mean, it just made me nervous. What if that really was a situation? She was at a friend's house and that happened. Other parents had a similar reaction. It was terrifying to think that, it, and she put it in her face and didn't know if it was real or not, and the first instinct was to put your her finger on the gun, on the trigger, and put it to her face to look and see if it's real. After more kids started touching the gun, one of the older kids recognized the safety hazard. If you ever find a gun, you treat it like a real one, okay? He put the gun up on the shelf, something that appealed to our parents, but they were still hoping for more. I haven't heard any of them actually say, let's go tell an adult this is in here. Yeah. No. yeah. He told the others not to mess with the real gun, but then his curiosity got the better of him. The second time he went back, he said, I wonder what kind of gun this is. Mm -hmm. So he was intrigued because he has been around guns, just not that gun. Right. Some of the kids recognized it was a real gun, but that didn't stop them from touching it. Afterwards, I asked him, you know, didn't that scare you? That scared me. He says, no, it wasn't loaded. And I said, how do you know? He said, because someone pulled the trigger. A chilling response, one that Officer Davids Meyer says should remind parents everywhere to have a gun safety talk with your kids, whether you own them or not. They go over to a friend's house or a family's house, that there may be guns there, and maybe the parents don't have them stored properly. Maybe they have it on top of the dresser. He says it boils down to kids being curious. If you don't satisfy that curiosity, they're going to, whenever they have a situation, they're going to satisfy it themselves. If you know someone or if you have a weapon yourself that you keep in your house especially, uh, take your kid out to a range, uh, let them see exactly what it does. We pulled the kids back for a gun safety lesson with their parents and Officer David's Meyer. Treat it like it's what? A real gun. Like it's a real gun. Parents left with all kinds of concerns. That they're not scared to pull a trigger. I don't know if they don't comprehend What's, what will happen, you know, that it could kill you. To see that he was in a room with a gun with other children playing with it, he didn't touch it. I don't, he didn't know it was there, but he very easily could have been a victim. And they came to the same conclusion. It's definitely something that this has brought my attention to the conversation needs to be had with kids about guns, you Even know. More I often mean, probably than it does, yeah, yeah. I mean, in the society now that we live in, it needs exactly. to definitely have to be had. Here are just some of those tips from Officer Davids Meyer. If you do own a gun, always keep it locked away in a secure location only adults can access. And show your kids how the gun works so they don't get curious and try to figure it out for themselves. Teach kids to always hold the barrel facing down, even if the gun isn't loaded. And above all else, make sure you talk to your kids about guns, even if you don't have them. Good advice. Uh, being a parent watching that, it's very scary to see. And uh, I can only imagine what those parents were going through. What are some of their takeaways? Well, the biggest one was just how haphazardly those kids were holding the gun. You saw them putting it every which way, pointing it at each other. And the other ones that kids didn't know the gun was there, they were just as worried because their kids could have been a victim without even having a clue. 
And this was overseen by Springfield Police. Uh, what did they say was the biggest key to teaching the kids? Right. Well, obviously, everyone knows to have that conversation with their kids about gun safety. But SPD says you need to reinforce that. Talk to them over and over again so when they get into this, that, that situation, they know what to do. Our experiment had a safe gun, but if it didn't, some of those kids could have been seriously hurt. Okay, thank you.